Hello, hi, hola, handle and greeting, Blender 2.81a, and a little add-on that we're going to play with today. Daniel Oki 3. You can find them on GitHub or do a search at your favorite search engine, and you'll be taken to something called Bligify. Installation covers Windows, Mac, and Linux. I am a Windows user. I went to the latest release, I found 1.3.9. I downloaded the Bligify Windows zip, as you can see here in the bottom of my still warm and fresh browser window, and then I opened Blender. After putting the zip where I find it convenient to install add-ons, I went to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Install, and navigated right to BligifyWindows.zip. Once it was installed, I was able to activate it, and it automatically created the path for two things that it requires in order to work. So I grabbed my camera and pressed Alt-R, Alt-G, zero on the number pad, and shift accent or grave to back up and take a look through that camera. Once I was looking at the cube, I deleted it very easily and shift A to create a text message that said something loving. I was able to adjust the size and also the alignment using some basic clicks over in the properties panel. Once I found the right message, I remembered that I could easily choose a new font. Using a typical font like Times New Roman enables me to do a search for the character map, bring it up, and select characters that I could copy in and paste. Eevee and its bloom, a distinct lack of overlays, a dark environment, the rendered view, and a material I called message that utilized the emission shader was fun and easy to view immediately in real time. I could of course take care of underlines, shears, italicizations, and also affect the geometry further if I wanted to make it look like neon lights. The character spacing is also easy, the world spacing and the line spacing are all very adjustable. What I really wanted most of all, however, with the GIF ability, was to be able to render something that I could use on the internet. So I divided the resolution of X and Y on the render by 5. I changed my workspace to the animation workspace, which I hardly ever use, and decided I would switch into the graph editor to be able to add a little excitement. By selecting the camera, I could right-click and insert a keyframe for the location. I drop down the locations that are possible and I hide everything but the Z location. I'm happy enough to delete that Z keyframe and just work with the X and Y location. I drift down to the final frame of the playback render range and change it to 30 from 250. Now playing the animation runs just over one second. And with one of the locations selected, I can go to modifiers and add a noise modifier. I can go to the other location and add a noise modifier. Now it's the camera that's shaking pretty severely. I can adjust the settings to minimize the shake of the camera. I'm free to restrict the frame range as well. I'd like to create more bloom by affecting either the radius of the bloom that's created by the EV render or perhaps the intensity of that bloom. You can also affect the color by migrating around the color picker here and overriding whatever the color of the material is. I'm happy enough with it being white and if I feel like changing the material I'll select the object and just change the color of the material and also the strength of that emission. Since messages of different colors look more interesting, I can select an item that I want to be a different color and then create a copy of the first color, assign it to the current selection, and then when I change that color, the selected text will change also without me having to make a brand new piece of text.
I now remember that I'd like to change the color of the background as well. I can insert a keyframe and now have access to the world shader node tree. We have RGB and A. I don't need to see the A because that's an alpha. While Bligify does create GIFs with adjustable alpha transparencies, I don't need that for what I'm doing right now. I'm interested in changing the value of the red in the black. I can once again add noise and we have flashy red. With default settings of 1, I can copy and paste the same noise modifier to the three color channels that make up the background. If I select the shader node tree keyframe, which happens to be at frame 30 because I left this animation running instead of pausing it, I can press G and Y to move that keyframe and its modifiers up to brighter values. It's now time to output the GIF, but where is it? Back in layout mode, if you click Tool, you'll see that the workspace suggested for Bligify is the sequencer. I'm not accustomed to using the sequencer, so I went to the animation workspace and changed my graph editor to the video sequencer. And there it is. Pressing N reveals the tools that are available. The tool that's available is Bligify. I have to fold it down. This happened immediately after installation, so I imagine it will happen also to you. The documentation of Bligify says, essentially, that the settings right out of the box work just fine. Without changing anything from the default, I'm just going to press Render GIF. I'll have to choose where this goes. I give it a name for the video I'm creating that you see, and I press Render. It renders the frames in standard EV format here, changing from 30 to 10 frames a second. It now calculates a percentage right there on the screen, and it has done it. Although it won't bring it up, the Bligify GIF is hiding in your computer where you put it. And there we go. I found the GIF. It's that easy to create whatever message you want, and you can adjust the quality, the size, and upload it with easy breezy confidence to the internet and say to the world what you want to say. Thanks for your love across the internet. I hope you find making gifts with Blender scratches some of those itches you've got as an artist. Thanks for watching.